Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today I'm going to share a card, a fall card, a see-through window. So if you open this up, voila. This time we're going to use the metallic paper. That is the one that it's kind of lost in the catalog. It's on page 135 of the annual catalog. And it's right here at the bottom corner, number seven. So again, it's on page 135. Before I get started, I want to share though the card that I already done. Uh, I you see all the different color. I use a paper towel. This is not baby baby wipe. It's a paper towel, and I just use reanchor. I use Cajun craze. A, cob a cherry cobbler, a crushed curry, and a little bit of uh, old olive. And I just stamp on my window sheet. This time we're going to use Versamark and emboss with copper. But let me share this here. Uh, this is going to go inside your card. And so why I didn't use baby wipe? Because I didn't want um too much of that moist to emboss. See the lovely color. So I'm just going to do this for the bottom here and one this way. Voila. So that's how I get the marble colors. The more you're going to stamp, well, it's going to get more mixed, but that's how I done this. And I emboss with that, okay? With clear embossing powder. This time we're going to use a window sheet again that measure three and a half by four and a half. Just make sure your window sheet is kind of clean. Here, I, here we go. Now we're going to stamp our little uh, flower and you know what I want to share though. I bet you're wondering how the clear. Let me do a clear. just because it's hard to understand that it does emboss. So let me do a clear first so you all can understand. I won't use that one because I want to use, here we go. I'm going to stamp that right here. Voila. Now I got my color. I'm going to take some embossing powder. This is the clear embossing powder. And I'm going to add some moisture on my paper. Here we go. If you get too much, you can always use a brush. And now let's remove this so we don't have a fiasco. Because I think it's hard to understand the clear there. And then you're going to emboss this. That's the only way that it's going to stay on a paper, on a window sheet. Et voila. Now you get your color, boom, and see, oh, well, you have to let it dry first, here we go, see, it don't come off, that's how it's done, so you want to have your color a little bit more bright or more dark than light, because it's going to be light as when you stamp on the window sheet, okay, now you know how to do it on with different color. Now let's use our, um, I had some, here we go. Now we're going to use Versamark. And I like to stamp randomly, doesn't matter where the branch going to go, okay? It's really, in the fall you don't have no control where the wind going to, so I'm going to stamp this. And the... Versamark, it's clear, so you pretty much just get this made. You go sideways and you can see the, the imprint there. Maybe I get m too much. We'll see. Okay, now we're going to take our um, copper embossing powder. And it's no copper in the metallic, so I'm getting a little bit of variation of metallic, like we're going to have copper, we're going to have gold, and we're going to have silver on this card. 
at this earlier. There we go. Make sure every place that I stamp its cover. Okay, now flip it upside down and flicker this. You want to remove as much as you can. See, I got some white in the back. Not white, it's the clear. So that looked pretty good. Let me just remove this. And I'm just going to blow on it a little bit. Okay, now let's emboss this. If you, even if you get little peas, don't worry about that. It's just going to add character, okay? Here we go, it's getting there. I got a few plays with little dots and you know what, I kind of like it. Maybe I should not blow as much. I kind of like those little dots. Okay, now we got that. Now it's time to build our car. So I'm going to let it dry before I wipe it like the other one. So what I'm using, I'm using the stitch dies. So the first thing you want to do is die cut your um, gold paper, the metallic gold. So what i done, and this measure four, and you see it's cockeye a little bit. That's okay. Just character on the card, right? Let me remove that powder here. So <clears throat> you want to die cut your layer first, your top layer. That's going to be the bigger one. I will have all measurement on my blog below. So you're going to place this here, roll it in the machine, boom, die cut. This got kind of a glaze in the back, so I recommend you roll it once and then back, okay, when it's the stitch. And also, when it's a stitch, you don't want to put that straight like this in your machine. You want to tilt it a little bit and it's going to engage from the corner better. Now you're going to remove this. Now you're going to come with the next size. So you're going to, this, we're going to do it on basic black, measure four and a quarter by 11, score at five and a half. And you're going to place this here. Now just look about the proportion on the side. Now you're going to put your next frame in the center of this. Now roll it back in the machine and then voila, you get your opening. That's simple. I would save this and I would save this to do another card, maybe together or separate, whatever. They're perfectly stitched frame. The next step, we're going to take our um, window sheet that we already embossed. Now we're going to glue that in the back of this. But before we glue that, you want to die cut. So this one I use the goal and the goal and the rose it's in the same pack of the metallic paper okay what we're going to do is just put it at the corner there and we're going to glue that after so the way that i like to glue that in the corner it's with a glue dot so we're going to go ahead add the glue dot here and here And then we're going to have our branch there. Here we go. Now we can take, I'm going to use Tombow for this one here. The other one I use Seal, but what I like about Tombow, it gives you more, um, you can go skinnier, put it that way. And also if you're not straight the first time, you can move it around. Now we're going to take our window sheet that we embossed. So the embossed side going to go face down because that's going to be the front, okay? Now we're going to smack that right here. Just keep it flush. You know what? Let me grab 
my silicone sheet when I come in handy just drop it there now I can press it without moving my frame or my window in case the glue was coming on the side and it did now we're going to take our Tombow again and the Tombow you want to put it on the liquid glue on this part here and you're going to understand why because you cannot put it here because you're not sure where your frame going to go. See if I would put glue there. You don't want the glue to show through the window. So now we're going to take our glue and I'm going to zigzag this here. On the side, on the window. Not inside the window, just the edge there. Okay, now we're going to take this, make sure I don't put my hands in it, keep it open so it's easier to align because if you put it here it's black on black, it's hard to align your window. So open this up and then we're going to smack that right here, go around. I get glue on this finger. Now I'm going to take my silicone sheet again see now this side that's there now I can press that hard without because sometimes if you press too hard a layer you're going to push it into your finger and it's going to shift when it stumbles so I just want to make sure this is all the way in et voila see how cool that is now we're going to take the piece that we just stamped with the it's kind of the uh, baby wipe technique but it's not baby wipe because uh, I use um, paper towel now we're gonna open this up put that right here now I got some little tiny leaf that come from the gorgeous uh, leaves the the dyes so I use the branch and I use the little leaves there. We're going to take the little leaves and I cut that with the rose gold. You want to pucker there, make sure it's flush. Now we're going to take this and we're going to use just a little bit of Tombow glue. And if you're afraid this is going to lift up here, this one seem to be very good you can lift it up in the back and just add a tiny bit you could also use um, the adhesive sheet I think this worked perfect here here we go now I'm going to take this I'm going to put that right here See, the rose gold and the copper go very lovely together. Now we're going to take the other one. And I'm going to put this one right here. And then one more. And I think to finish this card here, I will use... Uh, here we go I can't touch on the frame oopsie this one was not glue good let's make sure it's going to go down there I think it need a bow or something something so I can use um, oh, don't worry about the glue because you can take a q-tips and use hand sanitizer and remove that after it's glue. So I'm going to take a ribbon. Let me bring and this is the gold uh, ribbon, the fine art gold. We're going to do a bow. So everything it's in the metallic, okay? We're going to take this, do a bow. And then I'm not sure which greeting I'm going to use, if I'm going to use it for Thanksgiving or if I'm going to use it for um, just thinking of you, but I can add a greeting also. If you want to stamp on this, you would need stays on and 
maybe the stamparatus because you're going to have to stamp a few times. Now I'm going to put that right at the corner here. Okay, let's shrink that a bit because you don't want the bow way, way bigger than the branch there. You want it bigger but not a chunky, chunky bow. Okay, that's perfect. Now we're going to cut this diagonal and over here. Now we're going to use glue dots. So when you glue that, let me pucker this up a bit here. You want to hold the tails down and then put your glue dot there. For this I'm going to put two or three glue dots because it's a little bit thicker. It's a friendly ribbon though to tie up a bow, very much so. Et voila! So now you get your window and when you open it up you see the goal. One thing, you could sponge the back of this so it wouldn't be white. Et voila my friend! Now you get your window, let me reinforce this, and the same thing with this. So you get two different choices. So that, that's how I did my see-through window for the fall card. Thank you so much. And you know what? I think some embellishment here. Yeah. Hmm. It's pretty much stamp on the go, right? We got those metallic embellishment. I think that would be perfect on that. So I'm going to use the gold and I'm going to add one, two, and then a smaller one here. It's just needed something at the bottom. Et voila! I think I like that. And we can even go up for the corner here, there, and then here. So we got a corner with the bow and then this. Oh, that finished the car. That is it, my friend, for now. Till next time, happy stamping. Have a lovely day.